Hello, everybody. This is Samuel Reynolds, and I am here with Leslie Francis. And Leslie is going to start with a class on October 27th, uh, 2019, on Lunar Rhythms Part 1. And the class starts the 27th, 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock. Did I say that right? No, 3.30 p.m. to 5 o'clock Eastern Daylight Savings Time. Uh, so it's all on Zoom. It's all virtual. 90 minutes, about 75 minutes during each class. And there are going to be four classes, just to be clear. Four classes over four weeks on Sundays. She's going to talk to us for 75 minutes on the Lunar Rhythms, which she'll talk about in just a second. So if you want to sign up for the class, you go to unlockastrology.com and then go to classes and you go to group classes and then Leslie will be right at the top of the page. <laughs> so then that you can, uh, if you want to sign up, um, right now it's currently $70 up until like a week or so before the actual class, then it's going to go up to 80. So it's really just about, it's going to be less than $20 per class. Um, so if you want to sign up, please sign up. But first, Leslie, what is this class about? Good question. No. <laughs> um, so this is a class that allows you to investigate what phase of the moon you were born under because that has a great uh, impact on your temperament, how you respond to things, how you conduct your life. We often think of the moon as something that is just about emotions and feelings, but it plays a far deeper role in our lives on, an, uh, on a daily basis, even though we're often not aware of it. So the first part in Lunar Rhythms 1, we'll be talking about uh, how self-awareness and also how to use it for practical planning once you understand what phase of the moon that you were born under. And uh, for example, if you're born a new moon, uh, you're gonna be highly instinctual. Your intent is always gonna get things moving and get things going, except of course the moon's in its dark phase. And so it's a great time for, for you know, gathering all of your intuitions and your insights and your instincts and preparing to take action because often you can be very impulsive during a new moon so anybody who's born doing during a new moon it, it, their response sy system no matter what sign the moon and the sun are in and that's for astrologers and so i just did a little bit of a side note here uh you don't have to be studying astrology to take this class. You will learn enough about the phase you were born under to be able to use it in conjunction with being aware of what the current phases are in your life. I will address a little bit about astrology, but, but not a lot. So, oh. but, the, but the purpose of it is really to, to get you to just sort of dig deep into the moon because she's really more complex than we often uh, really recognize or understand. And you'll teach us how to, for those who don't know, to, t to determine their moon phase, like whether- Yes, so if you happen not to be an astrologer and you wanna take this class, uh, you just need to send us your birth date or your birth information if you have ahead of the class, and then I will tell you what phase you were born under. So, and I will do that uh, hopefully in advance so you're aware of what class to really pay attention to. So each of the four classes will look at two of the eight phases, and then we'll move on to the next. And the other thing of, about it is not only do you get to understand yourself, but you may get to understand people in your lives who in, and why you may often be in, in a lunar cross purposes because you're born in different phases. And we'll touch briefly on that. Um, because that could be at another webinar, but uh, I, I, you know, I started working with this because it just resonated so deeply for me when I started to understand the phase I was born under and what that, how that really functioned and what it meant, because it has a function and a purpose. So we'll be talking about that. So when we talk about each phase, we'll talk about, you know, what its characteristics are, what its purpose is, what's the intent for that, because this is uh the phases of the moon represent the unfolding pattern of the relationship between the sun and the moon and they are our two primary um 
points of reference, not the only points of reference, but our primary points of reference in terms of how our lives unfold, uh, not just on a daily basis, but throughout the course of our lives. So. Hey, great. Yay. So, I mean, there are four classes. Yep. There are four classes and there are eight phases of the moon, right? So yep. you're going to be covering about two each class? Yes. Okay, and, then, and of course, we'll have time for questions uh, relating to it. I'm pretty flexible, though. If you've got questions, for instance, if you're confused at any point, uh, then please ask questions as we go along. One of my in, in, intents is for anybody who uh, isn't an astrologer to, to get, you know, uh, to know what their phase is begin, before we begin the class. But it is important also not just to understand the phase you were born under, but also to understand all the other phases so that, you know, you can use them in practical planning. So for instance, if you happen to be a new moon, as we, sorry, I'm picking on new moons, but then if you start to understand how the other phases work, then you know where to put all that energy that comes during that new moon phase. Because there's a lot of energy attached to it. It's not external energy as much as it's internal energy. So knowing how the other phases operate gives you a better opportunity to use that phase to your benefit. And Because sometimes you, it can feel like you're being held hostage by the phase of the moon that you were born under. And we'll also talk a little bit about how you're going to find every month when the moon is in that phase, no matter uh, what signs it's in, how, how that just picks you up and carries you forward. Because it's, it's kind of like your, your, your uh, comfort zone. It's where you feel the best. Great. Well, I'm looking forward to it. And I look forward to seeing many of you who are watching this video and uh this is just a a brief introduction to leslie if you haven't met her or if you haven't met me um or talked with me <laughs> um but we do we're look both forward fun to seeing we're both great yes although I, th I think you know you got it more going on there so <laughs> um thank you and thank you for tuning in all right thank thanks you, leslie. a lot i look forward to seeing all of you or not <laughs>